And Midland police are also reopening a case. It's not a murder case. They're calling it just a case right now. And this one is nearly 40 years old. According to MPD, Christy Lynn Booth went missing in 1980 and was never seen again. Big Two's Caleb Califano is live with more on why the police department refuses to close this case. Caleb? Eddie, to be clear, there isn't an update into this investigation. However, with new technology, Midland Police could someday finally bring closure to Christie's family. In Midland, there are many cases that have gone unsolved. We just have to keep following up, you know, see if, if there's any new information out there. And the case of Christie Lynn Booth is one that police aren't giving up on. On these cold cases, we'll just, you know, every once what. Once in a while, we'll put it out and see if, if anyone has any new information on this case. On February 2nd, 1980, Booth went missing from Dimensions Nightclub off of Air Park Road. Since then, there has been little to no news on her disappearance. We, we haven't had any new information in the past several years. Young says that with older cases like these, new technology can make a big impact and get the department closer to their goal of bringing closure to the family. It would be great if someone's out there knows something about this case. People need closure in their life. And, you know, I know they have family members wondering if she's still out there somewhere or uh, if someone knows where uh, her remains could be. 38 years is a long time. And since then, we've seen Midland drastically transform. And while the city surrounding them may change, MPD's work to solve this cold case hasn't. It's all about helping the family, showing the, showing the family and her friends that the Midland Police Department has not forgotten about this case. Now, Midland Crime Stoppers is offering a reward to anyone that could help out with this case. And I'm told MBT plans to continue pursuing justice for other cold cases as well. Reporting live in studio, Caleb Califano, Big Two News.